Hey, it's uh, Square Coinman, and today I'm going to look at coins that are the same, but there is a slight difference. Now, before we do that, I would like to uh, point out that two of my subscribers, uh, Mayana, uh, found the mistake on the Croatian coin. It was a double N, and I, Mekamula, he uh, pointed out that First of all, I on purpose, of course, had written my name wrong. Some people did notice that. Um, but also that on this coin, not only was it David D that was wrong, but here they used an L. So it's Elsenhower instead of Eisenhower. Uh, I'll have links in the description to both of their channels. Definitely both were to check out. So please have a look at them. Now, let's start. Um, some of the coins I will point out what the change is and others I'll just leave it up to yourself if you can figure it out leave a comment and um, I might just give you a shout out in the next one so here we have a South African star uh, by the Virgin from the Cape and a bit later uh, they decided that it's probably better to let her stand outside uh, during the day so it went from nighttime to daytime and here we have a pretty difficult one uh, there is a small change in the actual picture I will leave that to you to figure out where it is now here we have a coin from Ireland and after a while the people decided that maybe it would be nicer to give a bit of a landscape so the animal has some food to eat here we have another uh, South African coin and you can see the wildebeest is the same uh, but the landscape has changed and then we have Gibraltar and I don't know what's wrong with the people on Gibraltar but um, we look at a penny on the left from 1988 and Gibraltar uh, wanted to use that for their uh, penny for 2010 but for some reason they decided that there was no reason to give the animal a branch to sit on and again Gibraltar um, in the 2004 coin the monkey sits on a very small patch of land um, but six years later it was decided that there's no reason to give a little bit of land to the monkey Singapore is small, the, of course, Gibraltar is small, there is not much land there so they took away the land from the monkey now we see the same problem in um, Mozambique in 2003 the animal still has a bit of land and in 2006 it's pretty much just hoovering in the air lucky enough not everybody thinks like that uh, we have a coin here from Botswana on the left we have the original from 1976 and on the right we have the version from 2013 and as you can see uh, the zebra has now birds around it and land and trees a much nicer landscape to look at and here we have a political one um, I'll just leave it to you uh, to figure out what the changes are and again here Czechoslovakia there's two years in between these coins and there is a slight difference and that is because of political reasons and here we have a coin uh, from Paraguay and they are both from the same year uh, the one on the left was made first but then it was decided that it would be more practical to actually have the 500 number also on this side of the coin and so they decided that um, the fields where people grow vegetables were removed so that one could put the 500 on now on my video yesterday there were a lot of questions many people wondered is an era coin worth more money well I have a good uh, sample here we have a 1978 ruble and uh, you can't see it on this picture but if you make it bigger you can see that the four is wrong one two three six 
uh, because it's V1 which makes it a 6 instead of a 4. Now, um, Russia or the Soviet Union at that point decided that that was pretty much a stupid mistake. So they released uh, a improved version of the coin. But they had already released so many of the mistakes that the mistake is in fact more common. You can easily find it, whereas the improved version or the correct version is uh, more difficult and therefore more expensive. Now, oh, sorry. Um, and this one, uh, the one with the mistake is easy to find. I checked this morning. Uh, it's about $60 on eBay. It is, however, much more difficult to find the one that uh, has the correct spelling. I haven't seen that for a few months. So, um, in this case, the mistake is actually cheaper than the correct one. Now, the one from Chile we looked at yesterday is, of course, extremely rare. Um, that one is expensive, but most of the error mistakes... Uh, when they were released, so many were released that it uh, was impossible to pull them back. And quite often uh, it took many months, sometimes years, before people actually pointed out, hey, this is wrong. Um, well, I will make a video about uh, mistakes on coins. I'm not talking about mis spelling mistakes, but all the mistakes. If you can find the small differences in this one, I will make a shout out to you. And um, as always, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay safe. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, uh, leave a like. If you have any comments or you spotted the differences, please leave them in the comments and see you tomorrow.